in Malibu, California, and this is the first time I've ever done a video recording. So this is it. All right, so I studied at Pasadena Art Center College of Design, and I il studied illustration and commercial art and eventually became a website designer and artist. I do a lot of variety of art. I've taken a lot of art classes, all sculpture, painting, drawing, photography, just every single kind of art because I wanted to try all the different forms. And it was a very good experience to be able to try different kinds of media and um, different mediums. So I really like watercolor. I like acrylic painting, and I started drawing on wood. I also love chalk art. I started doing the chalk Pasadena chalk festivals and love doing the giant murals, and um, eventually started doing other chalk murals in other cities. And I wanted to show some of the art that I did in college. So here is some art. Whoops, where'd I go? There I am. That I did in college. I was very influenced by Salvador Dali and surrealism. And these are kind of small pictures, so they're not really showing up very clear. But here is some of the different these are oil on masonite, which is a board, like a wooden board, and they're pretty large. They're, I would say, six feet by five feet, four feet or five feet. And uh, this is a printmaking. Um, I did printmaking classes. This is an oil on canvas. This is an acrylic painting. I did a lot of drawing and sketching. Of course, a lot of life drawing and some more surreal art. Another sketch. And so this is some of the stuff that I did in college. All right, so uh, there I am. <laughs> I have to go back to my video. Okay, so um, I also ended up doing some float design for the Tournament of Roses, which was amazing. I Oh, I wanted to show, in case you didn't know, Salvador Dali. Here is some of his work. And just really, really amazing paintings that he's done. And that's it for samples of Dolly. Okay, um, so here is a, where did it go? There it is. I did some float design for the Tournament of Roses and this was one of the floats. I did it for three years. It was 2003, four and five. And I was able to be the designer on all three years um, so I got to come up with the concept, the layout. Um, I helped do the decor and um, construction and really uh, got to do a lot on the float design. It was really an amazing year-long project that was tough and um, I learned a lot. So if you, I think, get an opportunity to try something new, I would say yes and go for it and you know maybe it works out maybe it doesn't you just can go do something else if it doesn't work out this really worked out it was fun um, I did it for three years and then I was I was it's a volunteer job so it was um, a lot of work for very zero pay so I had to say no to continue on with it but it was an amazing three years and so let's see. I also, um, well, I'm going to show samples of, let's see, I know there were questions. Um, background art school, 
Uh, current aspirations, examples. Okay, so I'm at show examples. All right, so here is some of the chalk murals that I've done. And go away, why? And I, these are about eight feet wide. This is about, I would say, probably eight feet tall. And this is about six feet. It's a cake I did for the city of Pasadena. I have been able to get work. Um, I've had jobs where companies would pay me to do their mural in the Chalk Festival. And this was a, a paid piece for the city of Pasadena because they were having a anniversary and they wanted a cake made by mice. And I actually did a painting of the mice cake before I did the chalk mural. So this is a, a this is only, I don't know, maybe 16 inches tall. And then the final again, which is here, which is six feet tall. And here is the last mural I did with a group and uh, a girlfriend and I, we did this and we won. We actually got an award for this. Where am I? There am I. We got an award for this one. Um, it was for best in animation and there are several awards for the Pasadena Chalk Festival. This is one of maybe 12. And we got to um, to create this, this wonderful mural. It was um, done in two days and it's about 16 feet long. And here's a couple more. I love to draw and create creatures. I like to add things to them, like uh, give them horns or um, big bushy crazy tails or here, here he, he has horns. <laughs> This is a detail from this piece here. And this is about 10 feet tall. And here is another winning piece. This one won for best of animation also. And then I got hired sometimes by um, commission projects for like Cirque du Soleil um, was a paid project, and this was at the Pasadena Chalk Festival. This is about 16 feet tall, and it took five artists to create this um, mural, and uh, it came out pretty, pretty amazing. So I was very satisfied with that project. That was one of my favorite, one of my best pieces. Also have I worked on electrical boxes. This is one in Glendale. There's another one. There's another, this one's in Burbank. Um, whoops, this one. Okay, so also, um, I have the electrical box that I just did. The last one I did. Um, this one was on actually the set, like um, studios of Warner Brothers. It was right outside, so it was pretty fun to um, to work there, and I worked there for a whole week and created my monsters in a band. The subject was to create entertainment, and so that was sort of a theme, and that was what I created, the band. Creatures in a band. And then... I have murals that I did. I started doing live painting. So what would happen was people would hire me to come to an event and paint for four hours or however long their event was to create a piece that would end up being either, you know, just something for them to watch me paint or to be involved. I liked to be, have the audience be involved in it. So I created a arm at a stuffing and brought it and painted it also 
with this octopus so that people could actually interact with the, with the octopus and take photos and have fun with it. And so here is one with giant wings where you could stand in front and get your picture taken with wings on. And here is a 20 foot mural. Those other ones were 10 feet. This is a 20 foot mural that I did for CTN Expo in Burbank. And it's acrylic on a canvas like um, banner. It's just like a blank banner. It had grommets and everything. And then I have a phoenix and this was done for Third Thursday in Pasadena. It's a 10 foot mural. And I also have for you a video of it. Here it is. All right. Um, let's see. Okay, so that was just a little um, video showing painting process, and it was again. It was it had to be done in four hours, so it was kind of um, a. I didn't have too much time to figure out things. I had to pretty much just throw on paint and make it work. And um, and I didn't really even get to do uh, much of, um, I mean, I, I had a, a photo of a phoenix and that was pretty much it. And the whole idea of the painting came to me while I was, while I was there. So I also started doing paint parties. Um, which were a great way to make some extra money and have some fun. And you can have fun with friends at parties. I, I have people who have birthdays or work events or uh, there were fundraisers for companies. So I um, started doing these wonderful paint parties. And so this is a private paint party at someone's house. She hired me to, um, it was for Day of the Dead and it was right around her birthday and I just taught uh, basically taught the class to a whole bunch of people out on her patio and it, it went wonderfully um, everybody had a good time and the paintings came out wonderful great way to get paid and have fun <clears throat> and here is another paint party um, this is at Alcapocos, and then it was in a, a Burbank or Glendale, Glendale, and so these are some of the images teaching the class, um, walking through the steps of painting this painting. So all fun. I loved how people. I told people I wanted them to experiment, and if they felt something. To go with it like don't continue painting the painting uh, just because it's also also use whatever colors you want to use or if you want to do different kinds of lines um, I really wanted people to experiment so I do that a lot when I do paint parties I don't want them to look like the like the sample I know a lot of them try to make it look like the sample but 
I always encourage them to be different and to try something new. And here is um, a party at Descanso Gardens, a birthday party. Um, we were painting sea turtles and some of the birthday. And here we are with all our paintings. It was a wonderful party and everybody had a good time. So, okay, so um, that brings me to my current projects. Um, my current project is, I've been doing a lot of work on wood. Um, so here are the wood pieces. I draw on wood. There I am. I draw on wood and um, I use colored pencils and I draw creatures. Um, I like to add horns and these are smaller. These are only two feet and they're, they're super fun. Um, I like to do lots of experimental stuff, so this was some of the experimental stuff. Drawing on wood. So, okay. And another creature. And here is a picture that I drew when I was about three of three dancing men. I guess that brings me to my conclusion. Um, oh, where'd it go? If you can dream it, you can do it. Walt Disney. Yes. So just, I think, um, in this time right now when we're all, you know, hunkered down and isolated, then I think it's a time to experiment with different types of mediums, whatever you have around the house. Um, I actually was, I'm a big uh, sister for Big Brothers Big Sisters program and for my little she was nine and we were at her house and she wanted to paint and she didn't have paints and I had beets with me, like uh, I had cooked beets with me and I, you know, that is one of the rare things a lot of people don't have beets but I broke out the beet juice and we started painting with this purple beet juice and it was um, experimental and fun and just she thought it, she couldn't believe that we could paint with it. And um, I think that would be a time right now is to um, experiment with different things. If you don't have paints, I mean, hopefully you do have paints and you can you know, use paint to, to paint your images, but be experimental and try something new. Try something you would never do. and. You know, even if it's just abstract, um, have some fun with it. Go outside in your patio or your backyard, you know, obviously, you know, not near people. And, um, and do, some, do some painting. Um, be experimental. So I guess that's about it. Um, creative things for students to think about. And, well, that was art you can try at home. How to stay positive. It is tough right now to stay positive. Um, you know, it's, you have your health and um, you can just hope that everybody's staying healthy and I guess, I don't know, it is tough to stay positive, but don't stay in bed <laughs> and don't play video games all day. That would be my suggestion. Get out and get some sun on your body, um, and then just do some drawing, uh, do some painting. So I guess that's it. Okay, signing off. If I can figure out how to close my video.